Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I feel about the 2023 Chevy Colorado rolling up on 10,000 miles here. And I'm going to touch base on the mods and the TSB that's currently out for the fuel injectors, which they just did. Um, so we're going to just roll into uh, some of the mod lists that I have real quick. Um, and so right off the bat, what you're going to see um, while you're looking at the truck is obviously I still have my halo pod lights, the ditch, um, the ditch light brackets, they're going to be in the description. I'm running 275-70 R18 Nitto Trail Grapplers, you know, and again, they are going to be 33.16, give or take. I know you can't see in there, but I am running a level up suspension 2 and then an Adelief in the rear. Um, keep in mind that this truck does have the high output tune. Um, so you can see down here, I have my Adelief there stock Chevy rims. We're rocking the extrusion overland bed rack. This is the access gate here that you can see goes up there. Shout out to them for sponsoring this bed rack. It is one of the most modular on the market and um, dollar for dollar you cannot find a better bed rack than what I got here. This is the 4x4 Colorado Alto Elite which is attached obviously to the extrusion overland bed rack utilizing their tent risers because if you see here I had to make sure there was enough room I did remove my antenna <laughs> I didn't cap it off yet I put a piece of tape there so you know got to kind of bear with me with that uh, rocking the Truxedo Low Pro still um, it does work well and everything uh, fits with all this pollen right um, again we have a pole out here that's housing my axe We've got some traction boards, um, just you know, just in case you need them on the trail. A little bit of extra gasoline. Had a guy print this uh, for me. This is a cap to protect the locking mechanism in here from getting water, which is nice. Also have an eight and a half foot knob sight awning that we're rocking, which is very very awesome. So now let's get talking. Let's talk business. So. We are talking about 10,000 miles in about a year. Um, I've had this truck for about one year now. Sorry, I'm kind of moving around a lot. Um, and with that being said, I'm just going to kind of review uh, my mod list here. So I had to, you know, put this uh, in a list because there's so many things I've added. So level up suspension, two front, one inch rear, high output tune. Uh, I did just mention that we did the fuel injector uh, update. Uh, didn't really notice any difference. I guess maybe it runs a little smoother. It could be a placebo effect. Um, I'm not exactly sure uh, all that goes into that. But when I went in, I looked at, I even put my VIN number in on the internet. Recall, nothing. I go in to get my oil changed. He's like, hey, there's an open recall on your truck. And I'm like, cool. Is it the fuel injectors? Yes. So they went ahead and updated it. I got the remote, uh, remote start on this. Um, it does tell me the temperature and it does allow me to change the temperature. Um, so there was some confusion at first when this was installed where people didn't know, you know, my app didn't work right when it was installed. So it took a few updates for my app to actually conform to giving me all of that stuff that I needed to be able to control that temperature. Um, again, we got the extrusion overland bed rack, uh, best in the biz. Use discount code jt 4 x 4 off road and get 5% off. It's in the uh, description below. And we also have <clears throat> our off-road tires, which are the Nitto Trail Grapplers 275 70R18s. Um, I was rubbing. Um, <laughs> I was rubbing. I did have to trim the fender. Let me show you guys our fender trim. So this is the normal fender. Okay. So this is what it should look like. And let me show you what we did. This was the side. And this is what our fender looks like now. Now, kind of hard to see, but we removed a significant portion here in order to make room for this tire. Because when the G80 locker kicks in, it likes to kick up. You can see the scuff mark. It moves the axle forward slightly, which was grabbing the pre-existing um, uh, 
uh, plastic here that we had to trim off and cut. But it looks like stock. You really, you know, would never tell, could never tell the difference whether or not um, we did any, any work to it or not. <clears throat> uh, getting back to it, we've got, um, we've got a Rotopax fuel container, which you already seen there. We got the GAT mags deta details, or decals, sorry. Um, those are the American flags on my uh, left and right side. Um, we've got the Novsite Halo LEDs, 20% off, JT 4x4 off-roading. Love them. My fav those are my, f my favorite um, ditch lights, and they are the flood pattern for anyone who's interested in those, and I absolutely love them. They're probably the best on the market. I know there's a lot of sellers out there, but bang for your buck, you can't, you can't beat it. NFAB uh, rock sliders are on here. Got the Novsite awning. Um, got the Musology AAA liners. We've got the cargo bed mat, which is here. And then I've got the holders inside the truck. I've got the dash cam. I got an eight gang um, aux beam uh, switch panel. And those are going to run some of, uh, those are going to run, it doesn't run my dish lights right now. It's going to run my light bar and it's going to run my um, rock lights. And possibly a locker if I add a locker in there uh, soon. I know you can add Eaton lockers to the rear of these. I know they're expensive right now. The G80 is good, but it'd be nice to have a selectable locker. Chevy, you should really give us the option in the Trail Boss to opt in for a selectable locker um, instead of upgrading to the ZR2 and spending the extra money with those other creature comforts that we just don't need. I want a trail-ready truck with a locker with basic amenities, and we're good to go. Um, I got the red line tuning hood struts to make it, uh, the gas struts to go up. Um, I have an Anchor C1000. Again, uh, there's a video on here about it. That's my camping, uh, my camping version of it, and uh, it powers everything. It powers the diesel generator, and I also have an Agritech Plume 300, which also powers the um, the diesel generator. However, um, I use that for LEDs, and I use the C1000 for basically coffee makers, griddles, um, you can charge your phone, GPS, GMRS radios, whatever you need, drones, cameras, you name it, you got it. You want to edit while you're out on the trail, you can bring your laptop, it'll power pretty much everything. Um, the LASFIT, it's all uh, uh, outfitted with LASFIT except for my rear tail lights, which they have that funny fault in them where you can have the lights on, but they don't illuminate until you hit the brake lights. So there's still an issue with that. I have not heard anything back from that yet. Um, got the dash storage. That's from the dash storage is from Etsy. Um, uh, I believe it's. I don't want to get his name wrong. So I'll post the link in the in the description so you guys can check it out from Etsy. Hold your glasses. Holds my GoPro from the dash, and that's pretty cool. Now those are all my mods. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Now let's talk about what I want. I want 35s. Okay. Uh, eventually, not gonna trade these out. These are doing. These do exceptionally well on the trail. Have zero issues. Yes, my gas mileage is not the greatest. It's about fifteen point six right now, and we'll see if the update uh, for the fuel injectors made it any better. But with all of this, it's fifteen point six, and that's city driving. That is not highway. Um, I was getting about sixteen and a half to seventeen on the highway, but as you can imagine. Uh, the tent without a fairing, uh, you know, it, uh, it's like a brick, so it kind of slows you down with some drag. Eventually, I want a full suspension lift kit. I know that everyone's going to say, Icon makes this, Rough Country this. Icon only makes two and a half inches, and Rough Country, I'm not a big fan of Rough Country, um, to each their own, but um, I'm kind of just waiting. Maybe Bill Steen will come out with something, um, uh, AEV, uh, possibly. Uh, what is it, uh, BDS, so just waiting um, patiently to see if that comes in. But right now I'm rocking that level up, and that's perfect for right now. I'm comfortable uh, going off-road and doing all my trails with the level up suspension. It's freaking on point, but I would like to go a little higher eventually. I uh, got the rooftop tent, again, like you guys seen up there. Um, I'm waiting for front and rear bumpers. I want the front and rear bumpers. Um, we're waiting. Haven't really seen anything. Not sure what they're going to look like. I need to see it on the truck. I know Victory 4x4 has some, but still waiting for the models that are not ZR2 models, right? We don't have anything because I would like a winch in case I'm out on my own and I need to pull myself out of something. 
and of course I want a full underbody skid plate. All right, that's like the main. Like I need, we need that. So if you guys, I'll uh, up here, I'll link it on um, the video. But uh, we had a Subaru. Um, Jesse, we'll do a shout out there for you. And uh, you know, she really banged up her skid plates. Luckily, we sit a little higher, obviously. Um, but I would like it because there was some um, angles that I came down on pretty hard. So it hit some of the skid plates that are existing on the truck. Um, but I would really like to protect underneath that, you know, because you never know while you're climbing up and you fall off a, a, a ledge or you take the wrong line and you come down and smack it. You just want to be, you know, safe than sorry. So 10,000 miles, um, you know, what a great truck, great power, man, decent gas mileage, right? It's a truck. It's whatever. You you get what you get when you buy a, a, a truck. Um Drivability, awesome. Maneuverability, awesome. Trail riding ability does a great job. Um, it's comfortable. I, I don't have the Z71, right? So I don't have leather seats. I don't have all the air conditioned seats and the fancy stuff. Um, I put a cheap uh, pair of Amazon seat covers on. I carry Kinsley, our, our great parent in the back, and uh, we love it and it works great and uh, i think this is a great truck for you know if you don't want to go to the zr2 but you want to still have the off-road capability with the lift and with all the um, basic necessities this is the truck for you um, so let me give you a one more walk around before we wrap up the video here and of course if you have any questions go ahead and drop them um, in the in the comment section below but let me show you the inside of the truck what i was talking about real quick with uh some of those uh mods that I was talking about. So right now, um, I'm going to be changing this uh, dog seat out, but I have it on here, um, my cheap Amazon seat covers. And so these actually protect the window. They slide into the window and it protects my door panel from my dog drooling all over my door. Uh, so that's really pretty nice. Um, these were the Gap Mag uh, American flag holders, uh, American flags I got. Um, I forgot about these, not that you guys care about these, but these are just the door sill plates. So they just stick on with 3M and it, you know, protects it there. Dash cam. I don't have it fuse tapped here. I have it wired into here. This is from, um, uh, Musology and these two, I don't have them secured fully yet. Um, but these are kind of nice cause I keep my little air freshener here, there and right there. Now this is what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, someone ducked me, but, um, so I'll link this in the description. Got this off Etsy. It's a glasses holder, and um, it also allows you to throw up your uh, GoPro. And uh, this is pretty nice because you can you move it, go you know go up and down or whatever, and change it however you want. And uh, almost forgot about this. This is also the Musology here, where you get that little compartment. You can hide stuff. Not sure what you want to hide there, but you can put something there. And then of course we have those LED lights. So all in all. The truck has done really, really well. It runs really, really well. Um, sits really, really uh, good. Um, you can see here I have the level up suspension um, tie rod sleeves, and I do have a one inch diff drop uh, for the truck. So without further ado, that is my update. Love the truck. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that there's so many things that I can do to it in the future. I can go anywhere and do anything. And um, it's just a great truck. And I've never had an issue on the trail except for that fender rub, which it was my fault. I was messing around. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, when you flex out and you're on three wheels, what do you expect with a bigger tire um, and a stock wheel, a wheel well, right? So, but we did what we needed to do to fix that. We won't rub no more. And I was, you know, I was pretty flexed out the other day when um, me and my buddy were fixing it. So everything was really, really good. But again, have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And if I forgot anything, we can catch it on the next video. But again, um, keep camping, keep living. And, um, you know, God bless you all. And thank you for supporting the channel.